This is the Galaxy Z Flip 4, and at first glance, this looks almost identical to its predecessor, the Flip 3. But frankly, that's not a bad thing. Truth be told, this being the fourth iteration of this device, I was expecting a little more. But I now see that's not the case. After using this device for the past few weeks, I believe this is, this is the flip to buy. So firstly, let's talk design. And it's, it's a pretty dope looking phone. Glossy rails with some matte coating on the upgraded Gorilla Glass Pixel Plus. Sort of the opposite from last year. But I guess besides that being an aesthetic difference, I think it helps with making this phone that less slippery. But it's a familiar design. I think besides the boxy rails giving it somewhat of a different feeling, you really wouldn't be able to tell the difference between this and the Flip 3. Furthermore, I think one of the biggest improvements this year is to the hinge. And considering that this device relies heavily on said hinge, I'd say, I'd say it's a welcome refinement. But basically, the hinge got smaller and a lot sturdier than before. And I guess to kind of explain how it feels, it doesn't give in as easily. It's as, it's as if the full range of motion, it, it feels like there's some resistance there. I'd say overall it gives it a more premium feeling, a feeling of durability. Now, interestingly enough, this device has held up fairly well and I've been rocking this guy without a case. <laughs> I know, right? And I guess it also helps to have an IPX8 rating, but really in reality, a few weeks is a short amount of time to determine how this device will hold up, age if you will. So only time will tell. And I, I think the same can be said about performance. Now, as far as I'm concerned, this phone, it's fast, it's, it's responsive, and that's largely due to it housing Snapdragon's latest 8 Plus Gen 1 processor. But really, this device, it's smooth. And I mean that in the most literal way. Anything you throw at this guy, it can take gaming, switching between apps, animations, computational tasks, the day-to-day. -day. It's a high-performing smartphone, and that's to be expected at this price range. But now, how's the battery this time around? Firstly, and to state the obvious, there's a few variables that go into this phone's battery performance. But let me just start off by saying it's, it's a decent upgrade. On average, I'm able to push around four to six hours of screen on time on what I consider average use, but I think the, the additional milliamps and the battery optimization that the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chipset, damn, that's a mouthful. They provide our, our huge factors with this phone's battery performance and longevity. But now moving over to display, this has a nice display. It's plenty right up to 1200 nits. It's vibrant and it has a refresh rate of up to 120 Hertz. But I think the question, the most obvious question is, how's that crease? And I'm not sure if it's a placebo, but the crease, to some extent, it feels less prominent. Again, not sure if that's just my brain telling me so or wanting to believe that, but regardless, it's, it's a folding phone. And whether we like it or not, the crease, it's, it's still here. But I think overall, for everyday use using the Flipboard indoors, outdoors, this display it performs well, viewing content, gaming, scrolling through your feeds, it's, it's a nice display. But let us not forget about the Flip 4's additional display, the front cover screen. This year, I think Samsung has done a great job with it. See, this provides a chance to essentially dismiss any notification and not have to fully interact much with your device. It allows the user, you, to disconnect. It's a cool display and definitely a cool feature. I think one of my favorites is being able to use the front cover display as a viewfinder and being able to toggle between shooting modes, including portrait. Between more personalization and more use cases for the front cover screen, it has potential. But let's now quickly touch up on cameras. And the cameras here on the Flip 4, they're good. Considering what Samsung has done with the S22 and its camera system, I'd feel it could have been better, but the pictures that come out of these cameras, they're good. They're vibrant, sharp, low light performance is also better here, most likely due to the improved camera system. I believe Samsung said that these were 65% brighter. And as for video, it, it's pretty solid. I think the big improvement here is to the stabilization. But it looks great. I, I think overall you're getting a decent set of cameras on this device. And to conclude, I think this phone, the Flip 4, 
is a great device considering the improvements to the battery a faster chipset the decreased size on the bezels the hinge i think generally better durability it's a decent upgrade but i think samsung has something going here with these folding phones these flipping phones they're great devices and i think they have potential so i'm really excited to see where samsung takes these devices moving forward anyways i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you hit that like button as well as subscribe and we'll be seeing you guys on the next one later